What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video to one of my previous videos that I did on Annie Monday. Uh, the character I have here is one that I freehand did just on Monday. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about how to shade. So, let's jump right into it. So, the very first thing you want to first think about before you start shading your character is you want to figure out where you want to place the sun at. If you don't, your character is going to look very flat and it's going to look very plain. There's going to be no emphasis shown and you do not want that when you're creating your character. So, let's jump right into it. So, like I was saying, I cannot stress this enough. Sun placement is the key thing. Light placement for your character. As you can see here, my character does a lot of emphasis on her body, on her belly, on her legs, on her breasts, on her jacket. You can see where the sun might be placed at. For example, for mine, the sun is kind of like, let's say, above her, maybe more at her, her two o'clock, maybe her eight or nine o'clock. Uh, it's just like right there in her face, you know, that's where her, the light source is for this character in particular. And you can see by looking at the shades, how all the shades or the shadows, they're all lower. They're all below her, uh, they're under her breasts, they're under her crotch area. Uh, you can see on her gloves and her gun where it's all at. You could tell by looking at that. And if we decide to go over to look at the other character, you can see that it's very hard to see emphasis on your character. Hard to see things that are protruding out, things that are popping out, you know, just because there's no shadow, there's no shade. And without that, your character looks like a sticker, of, if you will. It's very flat and doesn't look that good. It's just uh, plain, if you will. And you always want to add all these really nice shadows and things to your character just to show the emphasis of it, to show depth of field with your character. And a little bit of shadows here and there really does make a big difference. Let's jump right into the process. So my weapon of choice is the pencil tool. Just because it's a very powerful item to use in Adobe Illustrator, you can quickly fill in large areas without much effort. As you see here, I'm just going around the areas that I think best fits where the shadows are going to be at, where the sun's going to show its emphasis on the character's body. And when you're using the pencil tool, it does not matter what color you use, and it does not matter if you overlap on the parts that you've drawn up. It's perfectly fine because it is easily fixed later on. And I usually always use blue, just because blue is a very nice and easy bright color that's not going to hurt your eyes when you're making the corrections on your character. And as you can see here, it's just very simple, very quick and easy. I'm just filling in these areas, and it just looks so good already and do not be afraid to experiment with the areas that you want to draw or the position of the sun it really does help out a lot for yourself when you just experiment and have fun with your image if you start stressing about if it's being over detailed or if it's just not looking good to you then go back and delete some areas and just redo it again it does not have to be over complicated or over convoluting you can just make it be whatever you want and realistically just visualize if you can't figure out how to visualize it then look up a reference references are always the most amazing things I know whenever I draw a person uh, if I can't think of a particular body pose I'll just go to Google and I'll type in body poses and then after that you know I go through my initial setup do everything that I want to do and when I get to the shading process I decide where I want the Sun to be usually I will always make the Sun always upper left or I'll do lower right for my character just because those, those are my favorite personal places to put it at because I think I draw people the best at those places and as you can see here the shading process is coming along rather well you can definitely tell where the emphasis is and like I said earlier do not be afraid of the colors it is blue but you don't got to worry about that you change it later we merge everything together and it really does pop out and like I said again, take your time. Have a lot of fun with this because there's so many possibilities of what you can do when it comes to shading in your characters and drawing a lot of cool things. And as you see, they're starting to look alike, but let's get into the merging process. So the process for merging all these together is very, 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 very simple. So pretty much what I always do is I select all, everything. So Command A, and then I go to Object, and then I expand Appearance, and then I go to Pathfinder, if you can't find Pathfinder, open your window tab and then select Pathfinder. Then I'll merge everything together to make it just one item. And then after that, I just change the color to black and then I just dim it down with the transparency a little bit. I might throw it about 50 to 60% and it really does 
show the emphasis of what you just made when you do that um, it shows everything underneath of it if you have a lot of colors it'll show all the colors and stuff it'll darken some darken colors and it'll do a lot of that without much hassle or fight and it just looks really good when you do it that way and it really makes things pop out and i really hope you guys experiment with that just so you guys can have some fun and figure out what you guys want to draw and if you guys want to leave it black like how i have it right here you can do that it looks really cool but um really just have a lot of fun with it and experiment but that's pretty much it you guys um i hope you guys really enjoyed this uh small little tips and tricks tutorial type thing but you know who it is it's your boy damas here at common sense graphics and hit that like button subscribe it really does help out the channel grow it really helps the demographics and everything like that and uh yeah stay updated because i noticed that pretty much all of my viewers aren't subscribed and i have a lot of returning viewers if you subscribe you'll be notified for whenever i upload a new video but uh yeah your boy out